problem here was to increase the flexibility of the slider so it would stay open when you opened it without losing strength or performance or reliability. And we also didn't want to increase the complexity of the strap a whole lot. We start thinking, well, how do they make climbing ropes? You know, how do they make these things strong? Well, they're actually made of fibers that are extruded and then stretched. The stretching actually increases the strength and the flexibility of, of the fibers. We started thinking, well, can we do that with, uh, with the slider? Put a little design and, and engineering resources into it, developed some manufacturing process, and we got a product. Once we had the final design for this, of course we ran it through all of our standard lab testing, which involve bend testing at low temperatures, involve tensile testing, fatigue testing. We even invented a new test where we mounted this thing in one of our pieces of equipment over there and just cycled it, just back and forth. One of the interesting things that we found out is, as we would expect, the molecular orientation increases the flex fatigue resistance of the, of the material. So the way, this, the way the science behind this works is the plastics we use are polymers. Right? A polymer is a large molecule. It's made up of chains of atoms. Properties of a polymer are kind of dictated by, by two different forces. So the trick in strengthening the, the plastic itself is to kind of transfer the load from the intermolecular forces to the intramolecular forces. In physics, those are known as the strong and the weak force good reasons. The neat thing that we did with this, you know, is we took physics and some advanced material science and kind of added in a new, a new manufacturing process and we came up with a part that's simple, that's elegant, that does exactly what we wanted to. I mean, that's engineering, you know, and that's pretty cool when we can make that happen.